Welcome back to AK Academy and Planner App course. Today we will start with a new part, which is editing the plan. The previous part we have created the add plan component and elements or the required functionality for it. Now, we want to edit this plan. Basically, after the user adds a plan, actually, we want to redirect him to the plan page. From that page, he can add to the items for that plan, check items that he has already done, and edit that plan. So I, we will create a new component called details or plan details. From inside it, the user can edit the information of the plan and also he can add to the items and check them. Now we will concentrate only on the part of edit, which is 90% similar to the add. So we will copy everything and we will make the required changes. What we want to do actually is first when we go to the edit plan component or navigate to we want to get all the information for that plan by id we will send a request to the server as you can see here there is a get operation slash api slash plans slash the id and it returns the plan with the to-do items inside which is a type of plan operation response. We already have that one because it's the same response we receive when we add the plan. After that, we want to fill that information inside the fields we have here. Instead of having them empty in add, we will put the old values and <clears throat> clicking the save button going to edit instead of post. So everything's somehow going to be similar. The put end point here, this one, it takes the same parameters, but we have to send also the ID. So now to get started, I will go first to the shared project models plan request and I will add ID, which is not required because I use the same object inside the add plan and then it's not required the id i will add another two functions here actually the first one is getting a plan by id i will copy this one paste it here return a plan by id which returns plan single response get plan by id async and here i can add the id get the protected exactly slash api slash plans slash the id like this okay good d of the plan to be retrieved id this is the first part and I will copy this post, paste it here, call it edit, and this one called edit plan async. Everything is the same, but we should also add a new key value for the form, which is the ID. So here I will add new string key value called id model dot id like that okay good that's it required the logic and sending the request because it's exactly the same now we are done from this part we can move to the components here i will add a new razor component edit the plan good now I'm going to go to the add plan copy everything paste it here this way okay I will change the router from plans slash add to be edit or details because as I said we can edit and we can also check the details the to do items inside this plan slash the ID which is of type string. Okay, 
Now I will make to the changes of the UI, but for now, let's make the changes we want here. First, we need to add that parameter public string id get and set. Now, after the user directly moves to this page, we want to get the information of that by of that plan by the past ID. So I will create a function async task get plan by ID. Uh, sorry for that. Okay, I will set this busy indicator to true, set it here to false, good, now our result equals await, uh, plan service dot get plan by id async, okay, I will pass the id which is the parameter received. But also, I have to do something which is set the access token for the plant service. So I will move this part from here to not repeat it again here. I will cut it. I will set it somewhere else, which is inside the uninitialized async function. So when the user redirects to this page, we set directly the access token for that service. Async. Let's remove this. Okay, that's good. And this way we have set the access token for the plant service. And of course, when I will redirect to this page, I will get the plan by ID. Okay. Now here I have got the plan. Let's continue here. I have got it actually. I want to fill the values inside this plan request. So what I'm going to do is if result.sexus else message equals to result.message message type equals dot error. Now if it succeeded then I'll set model.title equals to result dot record the title model dot description equals to result dot record dot description and I will fill also the image image content going to be result dot record dot cover path which holds the URL for the image online so I can preview it but from online if the user changes that it's going to be set via the page 64 string okay yeah something else I want to set the ID dot ID equals to result dot read or directly the ID the parameter ID like that very good and this way we got the plan by ID. So when I redirect to this page, I can directly see all the data inside the fields. Now I have to change this one. Let's rename it first from post to, uh, sorry, edit plan async. What's going on here? Edit plan async. Okay, take the first, set the file if there is a file and after that navigates to plan, but here I won't navigate to plan. I will just show a message equals plan edited successfully. 
and message type equals dot success okay this is regarding edit choose the file at the same I think this is just the changes I want to do just get the plan fill the model instead of creating a new one in the like the previous uh, part and get the plan when I remove when I move to this page navigate this one should be edit and that's it here I can change the title from this one to plan at let's read model dot title title okay like that very cool now what I want to do is regarding this here I have two columns 50 50 for the full row this takes half of the row and I will add another one which will take the second half it's going to be also a raising card I'll call them plans items here will be the to do items inside this plan but for now I will leave it empty but just to define the general layout of this component okay now let's run the project and see but before we run let's go to the plans component and there is an edit button yeah uh, this one edit I will add the function so it redirects to that actually I want to create a function down I will just type it here and click what this one is going to do is basically navigation manager okay I haven't injected it here let's do at inject navigation manager Navigation manager dot navigate to okay because this one is take double quotation we'll set this one to single quotation slash plans slash details slash the ID which is plan dot ID plan dot ID I will click enter so here things you can see it better okay instead of typing a function down directly we can call it from here it just navigates to that page very cool now we can test that okay go to plans loading okay here is all the plans I will click edit for this one as you can see now it's trying to fetch the plan okay good set the image the items will be here plan new plan 13 this is the title and this is the description okay I will try to type something new learn ASP .NET core and you want to learn ASP .NET core next month I want to change the picture I have to change it insert to edit then I will click insert and boop, I got an error 
Let's open the developer tools to see what's going on. Sorry. There is something very important we want to handle in two places, which is if the file stream is null, we don't need to add it actually to the function of inside the service here. Because maybe I don't want to change uh, the cover of my plan. So basically, I just no need to send it here. To do this, basically, I can create a collection of, I'll call it form key values equals the new list of form key values. Okay, now let's add all of them. Sorry. I'll copy this from here till the file. Copy, paste it here. And this one, okay. Now we can check if model dot file stream or cover file not equals to null form key values dot add. this one otherwise give it empty and here just pass for key values dot to array so it will check if there is no file it won't set its value okay we need another partners here okay, I will copy this and implement it for add as well okay and this one very good but here we don't have id and i will remove all of this i'll set form key values dot to array great i will run the app and the check again Great edit. Ah, we forget also to change this. Edit plan. Hey, I am testing editing. I want to choose a file, click update. Plan edited successfully. Let's move back to plans to check if it's really updated or no. Yeah. This one. Very good. Now I'll go back to edit. Yeah. Very fine. We just need to change the title of this button and we are done. Okay. Very good. Where is the title? Edit plan. Where were where, where that? Where was that? here edit let's also make the same okay super great another big achievement i love copy paste actually when things become like this it's very cool just copy little changes and you are done and actually even in the real projects and the big projects you need to think you are, you face a lot of problems but as soon as you solve these problems there is a huge part of the application that you can do it like this okay again thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe in the next video we will implement delete plans which is a very very easy step see you